welcome back to the garden I just wanted you to all just have a quick look around so on the face of it doesn't seem to be many problems but sadly my garden is not well it's not well at all I am going to take you around and show you but I've got a major problem developing it started I would say a good month ago with my peas if you remember I lost all my peas and then my sweet peas to mosaic virus I've now got it on my beans all my beans I've got it on, or oh, I had it on my courgettes, I had to remove the courgettes. It's taken all my poppies. And now my new lot of peas, even that's showing signs of it now. So, yeah, pretty upset at the moment. Yeah, so feeling a bit disheartened at the moment come on pads um, we've just gone through practically a two week period of really high temperatures it's been pretty unbearable at times um, that together with works meant I've spent very little time um, working in the garden I've tried to spend a lot of time just sitting in the shade if I've been out here at all kind of take my eye off the ball you could say well I had a really good look around the garden a few days ago and oh it's not good it's really not good the mosaic virus as I've already mentioned is taking over my garden I've just been out and bought some um, proprietary disinfectant for outdoors I think you know the one I mean it's a fluid in a tin um, what I've got to do is I've got to mix up a solution in a bucket so I can keep dipping my tools but I'm going to have to go around the garden and cut out all the plants that are infected and instead of putting them in the compost bin they're going to have to go in a black sack and be disposed of so I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to be um, ruthless and pull up everything. I'm just going to remove the most affected leaves and see if I can get away with it just a little bit longer because my beans have got quite a lot of um, pods forming. They're still producing. Um, so obviously I don't want to lose them. Right, pads. Um, I've lost all my courgettes, my second lot of peas that have gone in, the base leaves are already mottled. I don't know if they're going to recover, well I don't suppose they will recover, but I don't know how much more growth they will put on, or if they'll even produce any pods, but I'm going to keep an eye on them. Uh, I don't really know what to say just so upset I've never ever experienced this before and you know don't you pads he knows I'm down and it's just so disappointing because and I think it's so obvious how passionate I am about the garden um, but there's nothing I can do about it because there is no cure for this it's a virus spread by aphids um, and taking a look around the garden I think the the highest concentration of aphids that I've got are on my neighbour's plum tree which is overhanging my garden whether that's um, a factor in it or not I really don't know but come the autumn I'm going to ask my oldest boy who's a tree surgeon to come and cut right back all the branches that are overhanging my garden um, for a start it'll open up to more light because the sun comes up that side of the garden 
um, but I'm hoping that will eradicate a lot of problems I've got with um, all the aphids I don't know I don't know I'll crack on and see what I can do. I'll start with my blotty. So this was very slow to get going. I'm only just starting to get the pods now. But if you look at the leaves, whole plants infected. This is my French climbing. Can see this is badly infected as well. It's also transferred onto the apple. This is my runner beans, so you can see that's got it as well. Everywhere you look on this plant, it's affected. Again, this is the runner beans. And then if I move around, this is the cobra. Climbing beans. The cat mint's got it. This is my new lot of peas you can see where it's forming and where it's spread to the poppies so that's all got to come out and even my sweet corn's got it See, it just doesn't look at all healthy. So I wanted to give you an overview of this plum tree. If I get as close as I can to the fence line, you can see most of it is over my side. And I'll take you up to it and you can see how badly infected that is with the aphids. So this is what I've got hanging over. My garden. If I'd literally pan the camera up above my head, that's how much is hanging over my garden. Thankfully, the tubs are okay. I'll just give you a bit of positivity. So that's the first one, so I'm going to pull them all. Oh dear, oh, the garden's looking a bit sorry for itself. The problem is I'm back at work for the next four days, so I can't really do much. But I've done something. What I have got though, I'll show you. Well, I managed to salvage this. 
some of the smaller cobs just hadn't um, developed at all um, but there's only me so the larger ones I'll break in half and I'm gonna blanch them now and put them in the freezer but what I have got looks good so not my greatest achievement I think there's 17 there from 18 plants I think in a previous year I've harvested up to 30 really good cobs um, it's been a really difficult year and this is a variety I've never grown before this is incredible which I don't think is particularly incredible I usually grow swift I've never had any problems but this year I couldn't get any seed so you have to live with what you've got so that's it so I've bagged up four lots of sweet corn that's my harvest for this year it's not a huge amount but it's enough for me and that's going in the freezer now so I've been at work today and I thought I just cannot let this garden get me down with what's going on in it at the moment so I've got to yes one very poorly garden it's just a disaster and I think the only way I'm going to get rid of it is everything's got to come out I'm going to have to sacrifice absolutely everything and start again but I'm going to have to do some research because I don't know if the virus is going to stay in the soil or not and whether to just take everything out and just leave it to the spring I really don't know what to do if anyone's experienced anything like it perhaps you can give me some advice because I'm at a total loss it just seems like everything's just changed overnight so I can't believe my potatoes I only moved them from the patio area to over here a couple of days ago and they're absolutely fine You can see the deterioration. So there's just no stopping it. <laughs> 